Welcome everybody to the Boys and Girls Club of Costa Mesa, Arduous Center for Opportunity. We are so incredibly excited to show you around and to get a brief look in terms of what these kids have the ability to do on a daily basis. Our Boys and Girls Club has been here in Costa Mesa for 78 years. It's something that we're incredibly proud of. We're actually the longest standing Boys and Girls Club in all of Orange County. So we're incredibly excited to show you all that we've done with our facility here and to welcome you inside. Why don't we go and take a look and we can see some of the amazing work that we're doing here. Okay, well welcome everyone now that we're inside. Uh, we're very proud to show you our Boys and Girls Club of Costa Mesa and the Arduous Center for Opportunity. Let's go inside and take a look at some of the special things that we have going on. One of the first spaces that I'd like to point out today is our Maker Studio. And our Maker Studio, you could think of this as the modern day wood shop. When the Boys Club opened in the early 40s, people often used band saws and wood shop. And today, this is the modern interpretation of what that looks like. Why don't we go inside and take a closer look and we can see what the kids get to do inside. So as we make our way into the Maker Space, you can see we have three 3D printers. We have a laminating and decal machine. We have a greeting card making machine. Over here, we have uh, VEX Robotics, where the kids can build robots and program them to do different things. This is where we want kids to be curious. We want them to explore their passions. And this is where the kids can think of an idea, and then they can all come in here and actually make it come to life in real time. This is our makerspace. You know, one of the things that when we redesigned this building is we wanted to think about flexibility and how we can best use the space. What we're going to enter into now is one of our three STEAM labs. For those that don't know what STEAM means, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. So come on in. This is STEAM Lab 2. So here you can see the representation of what a 21st century Boys and Girls Club might look like. Every child that we serve is going to have access to technology every single day. So we want them to be able to learn the 21st century skills that they're going to need to be successful in the economy of tomorrow. Um, every child can have access to a Chromebook or a laptop. We want to make sure that technology is ingrained in their day-to-day -day programming. This is STEAM Lab 2. The STEAM Labs are a little different in each room. You might notice here the different wall graphics. Every room has a different graphic. This is a quotation by Dr. Seuss. We want to try to challenge and inspire the kids at every moment we can. This is another way that we challenge learning and uh, inspire kids to participate. The kids can write their answers to questions that our mentor professional staff might ask. And rather than just one child raising their hand, every child has the chance to hold up a whiteboard and they can get their message across. So again, we want to think about learning and academics and integrate that into our daily after school program without it thinking like a continuation of the school day. So this is a STEAM Lab 3. One of the other things that we did with this building is we looked at lighting and safety. You'll notice that there's glass walls throughout the entire building. This allows for our staff to be able to see every corner of the building as safety is ultimately our top priority with serving children. Um, this is just a, another representation of another steam lab that we have. So you can get a sense of the room. You can see these three carts here. These are all filled with Chromebooks, iPads. So again, we wanna make sure that kids are never for lack of technology, um, but we really wanna just make sure that this is part of every child's day to day. As we keep moving, uh, we have a partner that's been with our Boys and Girls Club for many years. Um, this is our preschool room. So this is Sunshine Preschool. They've been a great partner of our Boys and Girls Club, but they have dedicated space that's just for the kids that are uh, in preschool before, before they get to kindergarten. So this is a great partner. It's a great way that we can leverage this building to serve more kids.
Many people might have been to our Boys and Girls Club before for our basketball programs. Uh, this is a program that's been long standing, something that we're very proud of. And their gym got a major renovation. So the gym got a complete overhaul. We still have some finishing touches that are to be done. Uh, but this is the Kirchie Family Gymnasium. Uh, we will be starting our Winter Basketball League in November and hopefully you know, we serve about five, over 500 kids with that program. So we encourage the city of Costa Mesa to come check out our new gym and the rest of our facilities. This is Steam Lab 1 as we call it, but this is space that's dedicated just for our club kids that are in kindergarten. We want to make sure that our club kids that are on the younger side have their own space. You may notice that the furniture is smaller to make sure it fits them, but they have their own space where the kindergarten kids um, can do all the same, similar activities to what the older kids do, but they have dedicated space just for them. Okay, one of the last areas I'd like to highlight is our Mesa Teen Center. And this is space that's dedicated just for our middle school and high school club members. Uh, the reason being is that teenagers don't like to go to a boys and girls club. It's, they don't think it's cool. Uh, so what we wanted to do was ensure that our older kids had a space that was just their own. So while the building is still only one footprint, we like to think of this as two completely different spaces. So inside our teen center at the boys and girls club, you'll see we've got two huddle rooms here. Um, these are spaces similar. We tried to design them like a college campus where there's quiet space, the kids can integrate with technology, they can work on small projects, they can hang out and be comfortable. Um, we wanted kids to be inspired about things that they had coming in front of them to get them here. Uh, you can see all the comfortable furniture. This really isn't appropriate for younger kids. It goes into our planning and strategy. We wanted to make sure that the kids that are coming here feel comfortable and that this is a space that they'd wanna come. So we have video game, consoles, we have Netflix, TVs, Amazon, all those things that kind of are going to encourage kids to come and be a part of this program. Um, we also here have a brand new kitchen. Uh, it's from my heart to yours. Uh, this has been an incredible asset here. One of the things we're going to launch is a YouTube cooking channel for teens. Um, but the idea is that we have teens coming in, using the space. One of the best practices that we found is that we provide free food for the teens. Nothing encourages teens to show up like free food. So that's one thing, the, the fridge will be stocked with food and this will be a great space for the teens. This is our Mesa Teen Center, come on in. This is a outside space where the teenagers can come and hang out and enjoy. Uh, enjoy this beautiful Southern California weather. Again, we wanted to make sure that teens had their own space that's separate from our younger members. And here they can come outside, hang out. They have Wi-Fi connectivity. Um, we, we wanted to provide an environment that is welcoming, fun, and that teenagers will want to come. So this is our Maxwell Courtyard, and we're really excited to have teenagers here in this building. Thank you so much for coming today to see the Boys and Girls Club of Costa Mesa. We are incredibly excited to be reopened to present our 21st Century Boys and Girls Club. Um, we have been in this city for over 78 years. It's something we're very proud of. We're looking forward to all the amazing work that's going to happen inside this building. If anyone would like to learn more about our programs, our club, the kids and families that we serve, our after school program, our basketball program, please go to boysandgirlsclub.com to learn more. Thank you all so much.